while this backpacking journey has been absolutely incredible so far, there is one important thing missing, complete solitude. Come along with me on this quest for serenity within this enchanted landscape as I continue my journey toward our final destination. Last night was pretty uneventful. It was very quiet and everyone settled in really quickly, which made me happy. And um, yeah, this morning everyone started packing up and it was loud for a while. But now I'm all alone here. I can't believe it, it's so amazing and so quiet. The only thing I hear are all the animals around me. The squirrels complaining and the birds and the fish jumping once in a while. Yeah, it's magical right now. <laughs> On my way back to the meadow that we saw yesterday and I hope I find a great spot over there quiet away from people although it was really nice this morning after everyone left Wasn't that something? I call those things trail chickens. I actually don't know the exact name. I have to look that up and I'll put it in the subtitles there. But I love seeing things like that when I'm out in nature. I saw so many animals already on this trip. And I think the only way you can see those is if you're really quiet, you don't move around much, and then the animals will be okay with you or maybe they don't see you and uh, you don't miss a whole lot. So yeah, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open. You will always find something out there, something cool. This looks like it has a lot of potential with the water right here, away from the path. And a beautiful view of that big giant here again. I love that one. Looking around a little more here, I have an even better place. This is very flat and it has the view 
built in. It's really kind of hidden. You don't see it from the path. You don't see a path coming here. to get some fresh water from down here there's this tiny little stream that is pretty convenient to access and this will be our breakfast spot and the sun shines here I was following this little trail here people obviously camped here before uh, there is horse manure here and there here in this campsite and so I think a bigger camp of horses stayed here a couple of nights ago. Maybe the ones that we saw. There's a pretty cool fireplace here. And fires are actually allowed here. I was a little surprised and I didn't bring my fire kit at all, but I do have a lighter. And uh, so I will make a small fire if there is no wind tonight. Yeah, I don't think there is a great fire danger right now. The ground is really wet and hopefully I can get enough dry material to make a little fire. Nothing crazy. Okay, let's see if this one is just as good as the chicken alfredo pasta. My husband had it before and he loved it. And so this time I'm going to try it. It's pretty amazing what kind of meals they can make. These freeze-dried meals and I should try to make those myself sometime. Hmm. Yep, I think this brand is a keeper. so spoiled with my quick starter that I always use but it's a good practice to try to do this without any aids at all oh boy maybe I have to cheat and get some paper tried ice cream and it tastes like ice cream but it's it's dry <laughs> so it's so good
I woke up to raindrops on the tent and looked outside and saw the wonderful deer and uh, started packing so I can get the tent packed up somewhat dry. But I'm out here and I'm like, where is this rain coming from? There's like nothing here. <laughs> Just a couple of little clouds. But uh, there's supposed to be a 70% chance of rain today and I think I got some percentage of it already. <laughs> And off we go to the last stretch, back down to the trailhead. It's almost 12. And so we'll see how long it will take me to get down there now. Ah, but I love the camping. I love being out here for so many days. You kind of get into a routine. Everything has its place and you always know where to find everything. You get really efficient with your tent to set it up, to take it down. Hang on. <laughs> there was a squirrel. Squirrel as I was talking and he's gone. <laughs> so many animals. See if I can find him again. No. I think he was as surprised as I was. <laughs> I can't believe how many animals I've seen on this trip. But what was I saying? Yeah, so I love the routine that you get. You get so fast at setting up your tent, taking it down. You find ways to do it even faster, even though I had this tent for so many years now. It's kind of amazing. And also the peace of mind that you have when you're out here for so long everything that you see and hear and smell like here in this forest I smelled the pine needles I smelled fresh pine all the way it's such a lovely scent like some of the wildfire smoke from Canada has caught up with me. I don't smell anything thankfully uh, but I do see the haze in the mountains. Everywhere along my path there are hints of fall already. It's the end of August and the first colors are popping up here. 
guess everything happens a little bit earlier up here in these mountains. looks like the rain that was promised and I'll probably have to stop soon and put on my rain jacket and the um, rain cover for the backpack but uh, I'm getting pretty close down to the lake now I still have many of six eggs to go down this forest here this might be one of the few open spots left uh, where I can see something and then it's back into the thick of the forest. You know what? I'm going to do that right now because chances are pretty good that some of it will get here. Here we are. You can see the cars down below, but my little camp is kind of tucked away here. I'm just gonna sit around a bit, chill out. I'm gonna wait until I put up my tent. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm always sad on my last day when I have to leave again after seeing so many amazing things on this trip. Beautiful nature, the lush green that we saw here, these trees and the wildflowers, all the animals and never mind the scenery, oh my god, it was so amazing. So yeah, I look around a little bit more here, I have this last little bit of view before I head back down to the car. But don't go anywhere because I have one more stop to do. Actually two stops. <laughs> uh, my first stop is at the lake so we can finally see the lake up close. We've looked at it several times uh, from our path looking back down the valley and on my way out I want to stop there and actually check it out and look back at the mountains from the lake. And my second stop is breakfast in town <laughs> because I don't have anything left. <clears throat> I have some power bars and things like that, but I really don't feel like it. I have no coffee left. And so, yeah, I'm heading for some real breakfast and some good coffee uh, back in the town of Joseph. Isn't this place something? This was really kind of unexpected for me. Uh, the photos look great, but it definitely exceeded my expectations. And I hope to return again sometime soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this trip. This is uh, the end for today. Now I'm saying goodbye to you guys, but it's not our last trip, obviously. We're going on many more backpacking trips and uh, other camping trips together. And I hope I see you there and uh, yeah, go out there yourself, have adventures, go out backpacking, go out hiking and enjoy nature. It gives you so much, it just rejuvenates you and it heals your heart and your soul, whatever you may need uh, these days. Yeah, it's just wonderful. 
So yeah, take care guys. And this is Andrea with Adventures and Dreams signing off for today. But not for the last time, I promise you. <laughs>